King Jr. Day. Uh, I apologize for the tea in my voice. I'm fighting off my winter cold. Today, a lot of the kids are home from school. Welcome home, kids. So in today's show, some of the big kids are home, too. In today's show, we got a little something for everybody. Uh, we're going to start out uh, playing one of my favorite games, Stump. Please welcome from the social network. There's just one of them, Army Hammer. for the shake or the hug. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thank you. Brother. Huge movie. Tell other kids out there, don't listen to the skeptics, just go after it. I definitely agree with Jason. I think that it's important to just sit down and find out what you're passionate about and then get some friends together. Thank you. You are definitely not a guy. <laughs> Fantastic. I know, she's amazing. She killed it. Oh, thank you. So, tell me the story behind If I Were a Boy, why is that Beyonce? <laughs> well, I wrote this song a few years ago. In, I was actually in New York in Times Square, walking around with the producer I wrote it with. And I was um, really hungry for some pizza and trying to fit, it, fit into my jeans at the same time. So I was like, man, I wish, if I were a boy, I'd eat that, and I'd eat that, and I'd eat that. And he goes, that's very interesting. Well, how would you sing it? I'm like, shut up. I'm hungry, you know? And then... Uh, I was going through a bad breakup. Next thing I know, the song was written in 30 minutes. Amazing. Turned into the best breakup ever. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And how did it end up with Beyonce? And I should only speak.